About a year ago, I made a video about these Bluetooth sunglasses. I say Bluetooth sunglasses, and by that I mean you pair these up to your phone, and these will play back music, audiobooks, video, whatever you happen to be watching or listening to on your phone, you can hear it through these without bothering everybody around you. But today, we're going to be taking a look at the next offering that's coming from Mutrix, the Mutrix GB30. But let's go back in time just a little bit to when I got these. We'll go through the unboxing and setup and everything. Be right back. So here are the original Mutrix Bluetooth audio sunglasses. And here's the box that the new Mutrix glasses came in. You can see they look very, very similar to the ones that I just had, but I'm pretty sure this is just a temporary box, temporary external shell. Here's that familiar inside Mutrix box. We open it up, we get this very nice triangular case, a white USB charging cable, the same kind of pogo pins as the last one, and then the rubber earpieces and the wiping cloth for the lenses. And finally, let's look at the glasses. So we get a bag inside, and inside of the bag, <laughs> those are very, very cool. So as you can see, they're not sunglasses, they're not tinted in any way. I think on their site they mentioned they will be doing both clear as well as tinted lenses. Here on the side is the branding, the GB30. There's your charging pins. The other side you have an off and on switch, like an actual physical, you move this to turn it on switch, as well as some buttons. These should be very reminiscent of old school game controllers if you're old enough to remember. And actually on these, I'm not seeing a place to put rubber earpieces. So I'm wondering if this is just a leftover from the original ones as well. Yeah, these are the same kind of rubber tips that we had on the first pair that we don't really have a place for on the new ones. So I'm sure the final version will not come with those. Now, if I go ahead and turn them on, I should be able I did hear them just say power on. I should be able to go into pairing on my iPhone or Android phone, whatever you happen to have. Oh, I did not see that one coming. Look at the LEDs on top, if you can see that. It does say pairing now, and I see it says G30 on my phone, and it says paired. Now the LEDs have turned off, so I'm guessing these are just gonna be status LEDs. Maybe they'll come on when music is playing, so let me try playing some music. So it is playing back music at this point, and I think if I hit the plus and minus, it should turn the volume up and down. It is turning it up. Then the down button turns it down, and then this directional D-pad is not directional, it's just an on-off, like a play-pause button. So yeah, it works for play-pause. And a double tap brings up SIRI or whatever assistant you've got. So, the Mutrix GB30. As I mentioned, I have been using these for a couple of weeks now. I did reach out to the company and there are a couple of things to mention. One, the ones that I have here, obviously a pre-production unit. They are not finished, they are not perfect. The ones that I received, actually this bottom section has come off at least once or twice. I put some super glue on it though and it has not come off since. Compared to the previous model, these definitely fit a lot better. The previous one, as you might have been able to tell, it's real snug on my face. And after wearing them for a reasonably short amount of time, you know, an hour or less, I start to get these indentions on the side of my head. It gets to be a little bit uncomfortable. The newer ones are significantly larger. I mean, you can probably tell they they do not cause me any discomfort in this area. I have worn these for a couple of hours at a time though, and it does tend to put a little bit of pressure on the nose. This could be a little bit softer. Again, they did assure me these are pre-production, so this is basically just to get the look and feel of it into reviewers' hands. So it's supposed to look better, it's supposed to feel better, it's supposed to sound better, and the sound quality is about as good as you can expect it. You probably could hear from the unboxing earlier they sound fine. They don't sound amazing. They're not from a known speaker manufacturer. They are from Mutrix. And realistically, they get the job done. Now, the final version, obviously, it's not going to come in this packaging. It's going to come in the, you know, it's going to look like this kind of packaging. I think they've got three or four colors available, a couple of different colored lenses. And I think every pair shipped is supposed to come with both the blue light blocking lenses as well as some sunglass lenses. The ones that I got, they don't appear to be blue light blocking. The, the time that I've spent using them, it just kind of looks like clear plastic. Plastic. But again, these are pre-production. I have to keep telling myself that. But I did use these for quite a while, watching videos, listening to music, and actually playing Fortnite on my iPad with my 11-year-old. Definitely got the job done. The sound quality was as good as I can expect from a pair of sunglasses without paying $300 or whatever. I think the price point in these, they've got like 11 days left on their Kickstarter campaign as I'm filming this. It's like $99 for the super early Kickstarter campaign for a pair of Bluetooth sunglasses, gamer glasses. If you 
like the look, if you like the way that these look, they're definitely a lot larger, a lot more comfortable than the previous model. So one way or the other, I'll go ahead and put a link to where you can find it down in the video description. Thank you guys as always for watching. I'm going to keep this short, sweet, and to the point. Thanks so much to Mutrix for sending these glasses out for me to take a look at and give a try. Definitely appealing to the nerd side for the going out on the town. I, I don't know if I would definitely go out in these, but that's why I've got these, right? Anyway, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. I definitely appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel to get notified when new videos come out. I'll see you again next time.